hey guys, unforgiveness is not something that God tolerates. You can look throughout the whole entire Bible and you will find that whenever it comes to forgiveness, God is gracious and he gives freely and he expects us to do the same. Because if we're going to receive that same thing from him, that forgiveness for the things that we've done, we need to willingly let go of the things that we have against other people. And none of this is as shown as clearly as it is in Matthew the fifth chapter, whenever Jesus starts talking and he says, look, if you've you know, said this word raka with uh, you know, contempt against your brother or your sister, if you are at the altar offering a gift to God and you all of a sudden think about and it comes to your mind that there is a person out there there's a brother or sister that has something against you or that you haven't forgiven. Leave your gift at the altar and go resolve that. <clears throat> That's what it says. Now, <clears throat> I got to think about this. Like in this day and time, there was literally an altar. And so there was literally a place that you could go. And whenever you were there, you were giving a gift to God. And then you're like, oh, no, I need to go. <clears throat> but nowadays, we don't have a literal altar that we go to in order to sacrifice our gifts to God. However, there is places in our lives where we offer up gifts to God, and that place is sacred. And sometimes we need to step away from those things in order to deal with the problems that we have. Look, if you, if you have a ministry where you are working with people and you know, like there is somebody out there, like there, it doesn't matter if God lays it on your heart right then and there. Oh man, there's somebody that you haven't forgiven. There is somebody that you still have a problem with. There is somebody out there that you haven't recon reconciled with. You need to leave. <laughs> you need to go then and there. And you need to resolve and reconcile this with them. And so I just, I, I want to just let you think about this. God was so serious about it. He said, it doesn't matter. You know, like if, if it doesn't matter what you're doing, you could be offering a gift to me. You could be in the right heart, but then all of a sudden this comes to your mind, you need to go now. Look at all of the length of what he was willing to go to in order for you to be reconciled to him. That's how important reconciliation is to him. And so for you to be able to harbor something that's so anti him, any gift that you give him would be tainted. So thanks for taking a minute.